Welcome to the CA Ops MVS Event Management and Automation Mainframe Team Center Automation SSM Feature Video. My name is Diane Norris and I'm an architect on the Ops MVS team. This video is for Mainframe Team Center Automation and will introduce the new SSM feature. SSM stands for System State Manager, the component of Ops MVS that automates the management of system resource states. This video covers the following topics for the SSM feature of Mainframe Team Center Automation. We will start with a brief overview and list the prerequisites required to get this feature up and running. Next, we will briefly demonstrate the operation of the feature. We will finish the video with a summary. This section gives an overview of Mainframe Team Center Automation SSM feature. Mainframe Team Center Automation provides a modernized, web-accessible user interface for consolidated view of your mainframe automation environment. Mainframe Team Center Automation was first introduced in Ops MVS 13.0 with the Rules Management feature. The Rules Management feature provides a multi-system view of Ops MVS automation rules. Ops MVS 13.5 introduces the SSM feature of Mainframe Team Center Automation. The SSM feature provides a multi-system operational view of Ops MVS SSM managed resources and their states in the web UI. Mainframe system operators have a business need to manage system resources from a single point of control. The SSM feature addresses this need by presenting an enterprise-wide view of SSM resource information. The view is multi-system and includes SSM managed tables, SSM managed resources, and resource states. This section lists the prerequisites for using Mainframe Team Center Automation SSM feature. In order to take advantage of the SSM feature, you must be running Ops MVS 13.5 with Mainframe Team Center Automation configured. Then just install the two Agile Feature PTFs and the CCS Common Service PTF listed on this slide, and you are all set. Note that you must apply the CCS PTF and start the CCS message server with the PTF applied before starting an Ops MVS with the new PTF supplied. If an Ops MVS with the new PTF supplied connects to a message service server without the CCS PTF applied, Mainframe Team Center Automation will incorrectly process SSM resource updates as rule updates. To avoid this, the CCS PTF must be active first. This section briefly covers the operation of Mainframe Team Center Automation SSM feature. Here, we are presented with an active Mainframe Team Center Automation user session at the System State Manager or SSM page. You navigate to the SSM page by clicking on the SSM icon in the blue navigation bar on the left. On the SSM page, you are presented with an accordion listing the systems and Ops MVS subsystems participating in Mainframe Team Center Automation. Here we can see that there are two systems participating, System 1 and System 2. There are three participating Ops subsystems on System 1 and two on System 2. The number in parentheses beside the Ops MVS subsystem name indicates the number of SSM managed tables for that subsystem. Selecting one of the Ops MVS subsystems expands the accordion to show the SSM managed tables for that subsystem. Here we selected the Ops E subsystem on System 1 and can see two SSM managed tables, Payroll and STC. The number in parentheses beside the SSM table name indicates the number of resources in the table. Selecting one of the SSM managed tables expands the accordion to show the resources in the table. Here we selected the table named STC. The arrow to the left of a resource name indicates the state of the resource. A green up arrow indicates that a resource desired to be up is up. Desired state and current state are both up. A green down arrow indicates that a resource desired to be down is down. Desired state and current state are both down. An 
up arrow in a red circle indicates that a resource desired to be down is up. Desired state is down and current state is up. A down arrow in a red circle indicates just the opposite. Desired state is up and current state is down. Here, all the shown resources are in their desired state except for resource CCIT CPGW. That resource is desired to be up but is down. The word to the right of the resource name indicates the effective mode of the resource. Absence of a word indicates that the effective mode is active. Effective mode is the resulting mode for the resource when SSM, table, and resource level modes are combined. Here, all shown resources have an effective mode of active, except for Abendade, which is inactive, and CCIT, CPGW, which is passive. Selecting one of the resources shows additional resource data in the detail pane to the right. The detail data includes current state, desired state, various resource modes, type, IPL state, and prereqs. Here we have chosen our problem resource, CCIT CPGW. We can see that the current state of down does not match the desired state of up. We can also see that the effective mode is passive because the resource mode is passive. Resource CCIT CPGW is an SDC type resource with an IPL state of up and a prereq of resource NDT CP. Also available to you on the SSM page is the ability to narrow down the accordion resources by name and the ability to refresh the accordion and resource data. The search box above the accordion allows you to narrow the focus of the accordion by resource name. When you type a resource name or part of a resource name in the box, the accordion only shows resources whose name contains the typed search text. Here the search text is USS. The accordion only shows resources whose name contains the text USS. The numbers in the parentheses also change to reflect the narrowed table and resource scope. We can see that the table named STC under OPSI on System 1 has two resources with names that contain USS. AOF USS and HMC USS. In the top right corner of the SSM page, the circular arrow icon allows you to refresh the accordion resource data shown. Clicking on the icon causes mainframe team center automation to refresh both the accordion and resource detail data from the mainframe team center automation database. Note that the database is automatically refreshed whenever there is a change to SSM mode, SSM managed tables, or SSM resource detail data. It is also refreshed periodically based on a user-specified configuration parameter. In this video, we covered Mainframe Team Center Automation SSM feature. In summary, the SSM feature is introduced with OpsMVS 13.5 through several OpsMVS and CCS PTFs. The SSM feature UI page is accessed through an icon on the left, blue navigation bar. The UI page provides multi-system access to OpsMVS SSM managed tables and resources through an accordion. You can narrow the scope of the accordion by resource name. The accordion includes summary state and effective mode indicators for resources. The data pane shows detailed information for the selected resource including states, modes, type, IPL state, and prereqs. You can refresh the accordion and resource data. For more detailed information about this product, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page.